Hello, my soccer universe, for continued celebrations of Italy's title. No, not really, but I'm wearing still the Italy shirt. Uh, but I changed the background. Now this is my official ranking of how everything finished. But we're talking now about the jersey matchups from the quarterfinals on where this jersey actually will finish. Uh, will not, <laughs> not finish, will feature uh, quite a few times. Um, and then I'll give you my five favorite jersey matchups from these Euros, uh, mostly because I have to say what we saw in the from the quarterfinal on, it was rather uninspiring. I mean, it was almost all expected. I think for me, the biggest question during all of that was, uh, will England play against Ukraine potentially in their blue shirts? They didn't. Uh, the rest was more or less how I expected it, not necessarily how I wanted it. And we'll talk about it. So there is not really one matchup that I would say is atrocious. There's not one that is excellent in there. They were all expected. Some were better than others. Uh, but I have to say, yeah, the ex expected, but, uh, you know, I would say almost all expected boring boring is what comes to mind most so that's where we will start which of the ones were expected and bad slash boring and i have to say the worst matchup for me uh was switzerland against spain and it uh, this one and the next one are very very close to each other it is just uh what I didn't do not like is, is I, when I see Switzerland and all red I could see, but those two tones of red, I still cannot look past this. And then the Spain jersey is particularly uninspired. I mean, this is just whitish grayish with the sleeve cuffs with the Spanish flag is the one feature on this one that saves this one. Uh, other than that, I have to say really, really, really... I would, I would say bordering bad in this case, because uh, in spite, I mean, you you know, I like my three color or even four color matchups. There are three colors here, but the execution of the jerseys all leaves me wanting. The next one is uh, Belgium v Italy. And this one is totally carried by the Belgium jersey and less so by the Italian away jersey, which I still find absolutely atrocious. However, the Belgium jersey has something special in it that actually makes me like it and pulls it a little bit. This is a standard jersey against a very boring jer uh, jer jer jersey. As the previous one were rather two boring jerseys. Um, so that's why Belgium is ahead. Uh, Belgium, Italy is ahead of Switzerland, France. Uh, the next one is a good step upward uh, with uh, Czech Republic against Denmark. And this one could have featured really, really, really high if the Czechs would have a brighter color of blue on their shirts. I mean, uh, it almost looks Spain, Spain against uh, Denmark and not even that. So uh, for that reason, I'm not too happy with that one either. I think this dark, dark, dark color sucks a little bit of life out of this matchup and that the Denmark away jersey was useful, but honestly, nothing really to talk home about. And then we go into another pair that is very, very, very close, but just a step up. And that's the, the all, those are the last two that I would put in the, you know, boring category. I think the Denmark uh, Czech Republic was kind of still somewhere between bad and boring. Now we're getting really into uh, expected but boring. And uh, Spain, Italy, uh, Italy, Spain, uh, better. These jerseys are beautiful. The Spanish jerseys already said enough how I do not really like them. However, uh, I don't I don't like Italy playing with navy shorts. Uh, the blue from the jersey, I think I could live with it. But uh, blue and navy shorts. What I would have loved here is a uh, short switch, of course. Uh, but I think what would have been even better if Italy play in their full home kit, and then Spain has pants in the color of what they have on the numbers. That would make for an awesome jersey matchup. I'm not. I, I. I. I don't think Spain would ever do that, but I think that would be what I wanted to see. 
and then uh, you can already expect, but just better jersey, uh, the final. Italy against England, um, here, pants switch. If we would have gotten classic England against classic Italy, it would have worked. Because the blue of the Italian shirt is much lighter than the navy. I mean, uh, England, it always looks white and black, and I think it would have made for a wonderful looking final. Why UEFA is uh, preventing us from seeing that is beyond me. I mean, there are many things about UEFA uh, that I don't understand. Um, as happy as I am with the outcome, as happy as I am that this jersey won, I am not happy that Italy had to play with navy, navy shirts, put a big damper on it. And so we move up to the cat for, for the jersey matchups that I liked. And yeah, there are only two. I actually really enjoyed uh, Ukraine against England, although yellow against blue is not a great matchup. But seeing classic England made this matchup. This was two classic jerseys against each other. I absolutely loved it for that. Um, and cannot say anything bad about it. Uh, the game was bad, but uh, boring. Uh, more or less about the jersey matchup. I really, really liked it from the get go, which leads us to my favorite one and a little bit surprising, but I have to say, uh, England against Denmark worked on many levels. Um, and even though I'm not a fan of this red out jersey, although the more I looked at it, I said, hmm, 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 if this was available, maybe, maybe, but no, I don't get the red out idea. I don't. But you know, uh, it, 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 it is not bad. Uh, but again, carried by the classic England look that I love and crave. I want to see that more. And again, uh, please tell me, why couldn't England play in the final like this and then have Italy play in the classic? Uh, there is no way that this doesn't work. Even because the color, the, the color of the pants is so different from the color of the shirt. I don't see it. I don't see it. What the, I, I hate this monocolored. Um, I think if Denmark could have played here maybe with white pants, might have notched it up even more. But I have to say uh, the all red look against the classic England look is a beautiful uh, look. And I think it works very, very, very well. And I think that was my favorite. Uh, uh, this is my favorite jersey matchup from a uh, quarterfinal on work. But uh, it, as I said, it was all rather yeah, 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 yeah. And so I want to end this video a little bit on a high note and present you with my five favorite matchups. All of these were excellent. Uh, some because the jersey com combinations are great and some that the whole kit just it just worked in on many many levels and yes my personal feeling is the closer the teams are playing to their traditional uh jerseys the better the matchup is and then sometimes you know you also have to see how colors work with each other but as you see already back there we don't have many colors in europe to work with especially since ireland is not here or any of the irish teams we have basically uh red white and blue a little bit yellow thrown in and a little bit orange thrown in and that was that so uh there is not much palette but starting off with no, my no, number five belgium or uh, finland against belgium um two gorgeous jerseys two monocolored looks but at least the uh, monocolor is broken up by the wonderful pattern on this finland jersey and that is a jersey i really really would like to have and also the Belgium jersey is also not monocolored, although we have red, 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 uh, there's enough color on these jerseys. Uh, it works really, 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 really well. Then another one that actually was a surprise entry for me um, is Poland against Slovakia. I love that Poland went out in uh, white shirts and red pants and then this with the blue of Slovakia. It uh, looks really, really well. Uh, I actually do like this Poland jersey. I'm not so keen on the Slovakia jersey uh, in many ways, but I have to say, uh, as a combination, this I really, really, really like this. This uh, the red, uh, the white and red with the blue. Um, this was one of the lookers for for me where I thought, hmm, this is really odd. I shouldn't like this, but this works really, really, really well. One. That absolutely, and this was, I think, the only time that we got full traditional look on both teams. Portugal and Germany playing against each other. Uh, 
yes, you might argue that the red and the green and then the white and the black it's not uh, that, that, that pleasing but just for the fact that we got two classic teams and that was i think really the only time and both of them with different shorts than uh, a di uh different colored shorts than the jerseys this is what i want to see i want to see this colorful uh stuff and not this monocolored crap that we uh, get most of the time so really love loving that one uh despite maybe the colors themselves not being as uh vibrant or, or, or whatever just for that fact it has to be num number three i was even debating for number two but number two uh, yeah it's gonna be italy as well the only time we saw italy in their classic look with white pants this is what i want to see from italy and i have to say that together with the red that this was one of the very few uh red v blue matchups that we saw and it worked it really really worked uh and i would have liked that Aus that italy plays against austria in a similar way just that austria is having black shorts and italy plays like this it, I, or, or even red red shorts for austria i think would, would have looked great i love this color combination uh red v blue i think is probably the best matchup that you can have it's the strongest for sure it's also the most common one um but then also you know wales although i find this Wales jersey rather simple having these little accents on there uh the color the, with the yellow you get kind of the full the all the primary colors in there and then navy is close enough to black and then white uh, just works on many ways however my favorite jersey matchup was hungary against france and it's all down to Hungary wearing the tricolor, which is, you know, France should have worn the tricolor a few times, or uh, but they didn't. But that Hungary can wear, wear a tricolor jersey, and then France, in their traditional away look, and I mean the away jersey, as simple as it is, it is gorgeous. You have this uh, wonderful cockerel crest, and you have the French flag on the side with the navy pants. I, this works. Um maybe red socks for for us maybe but you know i think this really really works this was my favorite matchup uh i saw it and i i i, I couldn't take my eyes off it i i really like this combination it's not even red or v blue but it works it really 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 works if we would have gotten the final as i would have wished for i think the final would have probably ended up at number two just as a reference to you guys and we didn't we didn't it's my big regret so yeah this completes my rating the jersey matchups for this euros um i will do probably two more videos on the on, on the Euros one on a review and kind of rating the, t the team's performances um and then maybe just one this was euro 2020 where you just get euro 2020 a uh, quick summary on what happened every game a little bit so yeah that is my plan for this week and then i uh, will go more into jerseys and potentially i will be on vacation taking a little bit break from the whole thing and uh you know i will have some videos but it will be a little bit sparser there in any case let me know which jersey matchups you liked um now from quarterfinals onward and also which were your favorite matchups um for the whole tournament give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i will talk to you soon bye hey just in case you enjoyed this video here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too also please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my sofa universe and with that have a wonderful day bye